Hey y'all, it's Casey. No makeup Sunday, whatever. Like, no makeup any day because I'm quarantined, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, hi, it's Casey. I am coming to you today with empties. Um, so I've told you this before, but I'll tell you again. So I'm gonna show you empties. Some of these you can get now, some of them you can't. Um, but I think it's a really good idea to hear people's impressions of other scents because then when they come back and bring back my bar, which we're in the middle of right now, you can um, you can decide if it's something that's on your list. So um, I will give you my impressions. So first I finished a brick, a jeweled pomegranate. Um, so I did not melt this all by myself. <laughs> um, I, um, I use several cubes for, um, samples for my customers. And so, um, but then I did melt quite a bit myself too. Oh, it's really good. So it is very pomegranate. Um, I'm learning like what that smells like, I guess, but it's really tart, um, but sweet tart. Like I find cranberry to be sweet tart also, but kind of in a different sense. Like this almost has like a sweet tart citrus smell. Um, whereas cranberry to me has a sweet tart berry smell. I mean, it's just really splitting hairs, but it is um, a really good scent. Um, it is strong um, on like out the gate. It's pretty strong. Um, I it's open concept worthy, so I can smell this in my open concept um, and it lasts pretty well. Um, so uh, some of the scents of the month, month um, like sometimes I feel like they're not as strong as like the regular go-to scents, but this one actually is pretty strong, pretty long lasting. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So I officially finished a brick. This is the first brick I've ever finished. So yay me. Um, I, I'm going to show you Scentsy, but I wanted to show you, um, so I, I like wax. So, um, sometimes that includes wax that is not Scentsy. Um, but what that means for you guys that like love Scentsy is that I choose Scentsy because it, it does perform very well in lots of circumstances. Um, but I try other wax too, because I, um, I'm not just like, I'm not just like selling wax. Like that's kind of not my gig. I have a real job. Um, but, um, I just share it with you guys cause I love it so much. And so, um, I got an advent calendar. So there is a vendor called super tarts and I've never had super tarts, but people love super tarts. A lot of people, it's their number one vendor or in their top three. Um, they are well known for amazing blends and they are well known for, um, performance like that super tarts performs amazing. So I got an advent calendar. So, um, the deal is that Brandy with Super Tarts, um, it's her company. She sends like a little packet, um, every day. It does not have the sticker. The sticker is on the inside. So you don't know what the smell is. Um, but every day she sends, I mean, every day she sends a box and they're all numbered. And so day one, you're supposed to melt day one, day two, day three. Um, so, um, I'm going to give you my impressions on the first couple of dates. So this was day one. And, um, in the, like I said, inside, um, there is a wax melt and then it has a, um, a sticker with what the scent notes are. So day one was plum cider donuts, orange frosting and cinnamon rolls. Um, so this was the very first time, like day one is the first time I ever melted super tarts. And this is way too sweet for me. Like, um, oh, it's, it's way too sweet for me. Um, I got the plum and, um, like I can almost taste it. And the orange frosting, I did not get cinnamon on it. Um, cinnamon rolls. I don't smell that. I smell um, plum, plum, um, and I smell frosting. And you know, like um, like orange zingers. You know, like that orange cake with like the orange, like sugary frosting. Like that is like the first smell that I get. It's way, way too sweet for me. It's super strong. Um, it like, it's a boomer. I, like it just had one little, um, shape, not little, but one shape in here. And, um, I used the whole shape in one warmer and it, it was a powerhouse. So, um, so performance, holy hell. Um, but, but scent appeal for me, this would be a, a no go, but day two, y'all day two was this sea salt, strawberry, ozone, birch, water lily, citrus, and musk. So I told you, like super tarts, brandy, I, I don't know like where her mind is, but it is like 
all of those notes. Can you imagine? Sea salt, strawberry, ozone, birch, water, lily, citrus, and musk. I don't know what would make you mix all that stuff together and come up with something, but y'all, this is incredible. Like, like I'm saving this bag so that when I see this come up on some other thing that I can buy it because it is super good. The other thing about this is like, I didn't, so I don't understand now how Brandy and with Super Tarts, how does Super Tarts have an advent? Because I put this in my room. I put this on my room, in my room on December 2nd. Okay. December 2nd. Okay. Which was what? Um, Wednesday, Wednesday of this week. Okay. Today is Sunday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, today is Sunday. Okay. Day five. And I only changed it because I wanted to use another, another packet, but I could have kept it in there. It smelled super strong still. I, I'm not talking about, I could still, it was lingering. No, no, no. It was booming day five. And I, my warmers have been on all day all day from like 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night, every one of those days, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth today. And I just took it out today, could still smell it as strong as the day I put it in there. It smells like man. You guys know that I love like a kind of like a cologne scent. Um, I was watching one of my faves, Metallica mom, Andrea, and she said something that like spoke to me. She goes, I hate to like say that something smells manly because like some chicks wear man stuff. Some dudes wear girl stuff. Like there's not girl or boy. There's not like, this is a man scent and this is a female scent. And I was like, yeah, totally. That's like, that's who I am. Like, I don't care about, um, like gender and all that, like crazy, like it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Do you, whatever you like. If you want to, you know, if you want to rock, you know, ax and you're, you know, a 10 year old chick, go girl, whatever you need. <laughs> so but like, I also am at a loss for how to describe it otherwise. So when I say something is like manly or masculine, I don't mean that it's just a scent that men could like, cause I love this. Like I like legitimately love this. Um, but it's just like, I'm using descriptors. So I'm going to work on thinking of things that might be a little bit more gender neutral because I really, I believe in you do you, I'll do me and we'll love each other. That's like, I'm, I'm signed up for that anyway. So, um, so anyways, this one, you can definitely smell sea salt and I could smell sea salt in the air, um, like pretty strong. Um, and then it, like it has birch and ozone and musk and normally I'm not a musk girl, but this one leans into that, um, more like after shavy smell and I'm here for it. And it was super strong. Like I said, I'm keeping this. Whenever I find it again, I will get it in a loaf. It is amazing. Okay. And then the last one I just put in today, day three, no spoilers. It's after time. So I'm allowed to say is molasses cookies, toffee, marshmallow, vanilla, brown sugar. So it's really bakery. Um, and it's like it, the molasses is just too strong for me. Um, like I'm still figuring out where I, where I should melt super tarts because I have three warmers in my open concept. And if I'm going to melt a super tarts, like I just need to keep the other two empty, I suppose, and put one of these in. Cause this one's in my bedroom and I'm like, Oh God, open some windows. Um, not that it smells bad, but it's so strong. Like it almost reads butterscotch or, um, caramel to me. And it's just so, so sweet. Like it's like, it's too sweet for me. Um, it's too sweet for me. I, I don't hate it. Like it's really strong and it's like a powerhouse, but like I can like taste this, you know, <laughs> Heidi from Sensi, she says when it, when a scent is strong, she says it's a lick the walls scent. So this is a lick the wall scent. Like the, this day one and day three lick the wall scent. Um, anyway, I don't know how super tarts has an advent because if their crap lasts for like five days, how are you like, I'm not going to take something out that still smells like I'm, I'm not cheap. I'm not, I was going to say I'm cheap, but y'all know me and I'm not, um, I like, I, I'm a shopper, but I don't want to like, I'm not a waster. Okay. So I don't want to like throw scent away. That's like still good. So how do you have an advent where you like change wax every day? Like I, you can't with super tarts. Like I'm going to be melting this until like February at this rate, you know, 
Anyway, so um, that's the super tarts. The rest that I have um, is Scentsy. So I melted um, autumn croissant. I only melted two cubes in the room that I'm in now. And this will go into my club. It is buttery croissant and it is super strong. I had this in this one little bitty room and then I had a whole bar in my, in my um, open room and this is the one I could smell. It's very good. And it's like, it's such a good scent. Like it's buttery. So like I get buttery flaky pastry, no spice. Like I don't get cinnamon. I don't get cloves. I don't get nutmeg, none of that. So it like, to me, it does not have to be just a winter time scent or a fall time scent. And I think this would mix, I, like I don't mix it cause I just love it at, on its own, but I bet this would mix with any fruity scent that you have super well. Like, I think it would just boost it up. It smells great. So I love this and I highly recommend it. If you have not tried it and you're scared, um, I would try it because it is, if you want your house to smell and it lasts, this is like, this is the kind of scent that is worth the money. If the, if the scent doesn't, um, offend you, right? Like if you like this scent or you love this scent, it will, this one will work for you. It's a workhorse and it will smell great and um it will last a long time so it is almost almost a vanilla based scent and um we have a ton of vanilla based scents i don't find things like sugar cookie vanilla bean frosting but vanilla bean buttercream or whatever those aren't super strong for me i know that they're like well loved but they're not like that strong of vanilla based scent this is a vanilla based scent that is super strong i highly recommend it um okay then i got snow kissed cranberry and I have two full bricks of this. Um, it's in my <laughs> it's in my car too. Snow Kiss Cranberry is really good. It is very fruity and like sugary, and um, it is cranberry, but it's not so tart that I can't. I mean, I love tart. It's not so tart though that I can't see like it being like a universal kind of non-offensive scent for people. I think you could melt this. Um, with anyone coming over and that they would just think it's like a lovely scent. It is well mixed, I think. Um, it, but just like that sugary note on the top of it is, is nice because it just tones down the crispness of that cranberry just enough so that it's just like a nice, beautiful scent. I love it in my car. I loved it in my warmers. I'm so glad to have bricks. Um, this is a really good one. I find that it is not, um, unless you put enough cubes in your warmers, it's not like a super strong scent. Now, by no means is this a weak scent. So in my car, it smells so, super great. In my warmers, um, in my open concept, it is not a background scent, not, not one of those where you have to search for the scent. You can smell it, but it's not a lick the wall scent, like Heidi would say or whatever. It's not one of those you can taste. It really is just a, um, just a nice, pretty, even smelling scent. Um, and it lasts probably um, the 20 hours that you would expect um, a couple cubes to last. So um, this is a good scent. Um, I'm going to go over some bring back my bar. So this I melted or it's melting right now in my kids room apple s'mores. Okay. And what I wanted this to be is not at all what it is. Okay. I wanted this to be apples and a little bit of like smokiness, maybe like like add um, Johnny Appleseed with a little bit of around the campfire and toasted marshmallow, like a vanilla based scent. And I would not have even minded a chocolate note in there either because it's supposed to be s'mores. That is not what this smells like at all. I don't know how anybody smells apple s'mores. So on cold, it's not terrible. On warm though, it smells like an um, old musty room. I do, no, mm -mm. for me, the scent appeal is like zero. Uh, like I put it upstairs in my kids room and it's like you walk into a, you know, like, like your grandma's closet that hasn't been opened in a really long time, like with old wooden doors and it's kind of musty and a little bit, um, like wet smelling, like wet wood smelling or something. I don't know. It is, it is a no for me. It is a no. Um, it's not super strong, so I'm not like it doesn't waft down the stairs for me. So it's not like I'm like, God, get it out of my warmers, but it does it. I want my house to smell inviting or clean. And for me, this ain't it. 
So I know this is well loved. Other people may smell it and go, oh yeah, this is really good. For me on warm, it is like a musty, like attic or closet. I We don't have basements in Texas, so I don't know if it's a basement smell, but it is not, it's not appealing to me. So that's a pass. Um, This one, hey Toots, you wanna smell? This is my girl. Come show how beautiful you are. Look at how beautiful she is. She's like, y'all. I have a kid that is beauty, brains, heart. She's got it all. Like, I know everybody thinks that their kid is special, but like this kid, she's going places. Okay, anyways, this is Sweet Plum Pastry. Charlotte, come over here and tell me what you think. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. No, I think I'm gonna like it. Tell him. I don't like it. She doesn't like it. Show him your nails too. We just did her nails today. Color Street. I bet all her friends are gonna need those by the end of the month. Anyway, I like this one super much. I know she just said she doesn't like it. I like it. It is plum and flaky pastry. I can see why Scentsy Land loves this. Um, if I have any complaint about this is that I can't smell it for very long. So I put it in my warmers last night at maybe six and it went from six to about 10. And then right now, um, we're like from 10 a.m. to what time is it now? So about two. And um, I can't really smell it anymore. And so I thought, well, maybe I'm just nose blind to it. Well, I went out and I did some Scentsy deliveries. I came back and I it's not like I walked in. I was like, oh, it smells great in here. So I don't, I don't love a scent that doesn't last. And I feel like this might be the one. I'm going to put it in my club and try it again because it's so well loved. Um, but the scent is beautiful. I just want it to last longer. I want, I want something that is going to last longer when it was warming. And when I could smell it, it was strong. The plum note is beautiful. The pastry note is beautiful. Um, but the lasting power for me is not that strong. And I don't want stuff in my Scentsy club that isn't going to last because like I have, there's a ton of great performing scents. So I'm going to try it again. Um, because the scent is so beautiful. It is awesome. Like the scent is awesome. I'm going to try it in a smaller space. I'm going to try it upstairs because if I can get this to perform, it's a love. If I can't get it to perform, it's a like. So we'll see. Sometimes in my open concept, things just get lost. Um, we have a lot of in and out. There's a lot of airflow, dogs in the backyard, kids in the front yard. Like it's just a lot of back and forth. So, um, you know, it could be that we have ceiling fans. We live in Texas. So every, like everything's blowing around all the time. Um, so, I mean, it could be part of that. We'll see. Okay. And then I did Fearless by Nature. Um, this is available right now. It was from the Frozen Collection. What do you think? She's so picky. She says no. I really like this one. Um, this one I put in my bedroom and it lasted forever. It was one of those ones that I had to take out, even though it still smelled good. Um, it smells like green grass, um, a little bit of fresh air and kind of a soapy quality altogether. Um, how would you describe it? Yeah. But how would you describe it? What does it smell like? No, no. She's not sure. Anyway, so it's a really, I, I really like it. It's a good performer. If you like clean, fresh scents, with like no um, kind of background notes, um, just something that's clean and fresh and that like kind of clears out the space. This is a really good one. Um, it might be club worthy for some of you. Um, so I, like I recommend this, you should try it out um, if you like clean, fresh scents. Um, and then my last one ended up in my Scentsy Club. So this is Gingerbread Hugs, I used the whole bar. And it's from the Sense of the Season collection. I already know what she's gonna say, no. So she does not like cinnamon or um, any kind of like spice notes. So that's like not her deal. And this does have like cinnamon. It is gingerbread. Um, the ginger is not very forward. I really wanted to smell more gingerbread, but the reason it made it into my club is because it is a, like, you know how I said almond croissant is like um, a really good bakery, like buttery, Christmas cookie kind of smell to the to this one. Um, almond croissant has the same notes kind of as this, but 
with the spices. So it's like almond croissant with, um, with like cinnamon and maybe ginger. I can't smell ginger, but maybe it just is mixed really well, but nutmeg, um, no clove to me. Um, but it like, when I walked into the rooms that it was warming, it just was like a hug. Like it was just like Christmas to me. Like this is the kind of thing that I want to have every Christmas. Just like, I want to be able to smell it because it just smells so great. Um, these are sold out individually, but can still be added to your club. And I would, if you haven't tried it, I, this is one I would recommend trying because I really do like it a lot. I just think it's very pretty and it's like, it, it's so warm and inviting. So, um, and then the last thing I want to tell you is I um, tried out my diffuser and I tried this one, Cactus Pear. And y'all, it was so good. Like I've never tried a diffuser. So it was the first time I tried a diffuser and I didn't really know what to expect. Is it? Um, yes, this is the diffuser that I tried it in. Um, I didn't really know what to expect, but I put it in my living room and turned off all my warmers and it just scented the air nicely. It wasn't like, sometimes wax can, wax smell to me can feel heavy. I don't know why that is because it's just scent, but this felt like it like cleansed the room of smell. It was really nice. And cactus pear was a, like a super nice scent. It was like fresh and clean and like just um, kind of spa like and relaxing. And I, I used it like right after I had put up my Christmas decorations, which was kind of just nice to kind of clear everything out and get like fresh holiday scents ready. Um, and I really liked it. So um, the diffuser has a different kind of quality of the, um, the smell, like it's not like that heavy kind of waxy smell. It's more just like a like a clearing out smell, I guess. Um, it's hard to describe, I guess, but I really, like I really enjoy it and I would definitely recommend it. So um, Cactus Pear is a thumbs up for me. Otherwise, that's all I have, that's all I've been warming. Um, I'll have more stuff um, just as we power on through stuff. Um, my next brick that I'm gonna try and work through is apple baked apple pie. I've only used two cubes, so let's see how far we get. Um, but that's going to be December's scent that we're going to try and get through. We'll see. Um, and say bye, Charlotte. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.